Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see, and you probably know from the title, depending on how I title this video, today I will be doing an unboxing of the Speedy 20 in monogram. I'm not exactly sure if it comes in other colorways aside from the Empreant Leather versions. I don't know if it comes in Dummy or Ben or anything like that, but I did pick up the monogram, which we can unbox together. I'm super excited. I figured since I had the 25 and the 30, the next logical step was to try out the 20. So first and foremost, here is the receipt. I'm not gonna bore you guys with all that, but yes, it is in here. Great. Oh, this is a little surprise for later. Stay tuned to see what else I pick up while I was at the Louis Vuitton boutique. So here is the box. I'm sure everyone is familiar with the box and how the box looks. And not the magnetic closure. P.S. I don't know if you can tell, but there's more light coming from this way now so that you guys can actually see inside the bags this time. <laughs> okay, so here is the Let's move this box. By the way, yes, it was wrapped in ribbon, but I put it back in there. Oh, let me just move that there. Okay. So here it is in the dust bag. Really nice. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so this is her. Like I said, this is the 20. Louis Vuitton Paris. Uh, since it doesn't say made in France on the tag, it must have been made elsewhere. I guess we'll figure out where that is in a little bit. I really like the way the zipper comes a little bit lower on these bags versus the other bags because it's a little bit easier to get into. The zippers are very nice. Look at the inside. I did get the darker strap versus the hot pink strap because while the hot pink strap was really nice, I found that this, you know, is more of a day-to-day -day color. I did have the option to pick between the pink one and this one, and I just felt it was more my style. And it goes nice with the bag, like really, really nice. It kind of makes me wish that the inside of the bag was a sort of hot pink versus the red that's actually on the inside of the bag. It, the inside of the bag is red like the interior of the Alma BB and the mini Pichat. And it does have the little side pocket here. It doesn't have a zipper or anything like the typical Speedies. This inside is very reminiscent of the Alma BB for me. And it does come with a little packy with a lock and key. We'll open that in a second. Let's see what's inside the little pocket. Okay, yeah, so Louis Vuitton made in USA with uh, of important material, not important, imported <laughs> material and components. Oh, exterior of a shade of leather, interior synthetic textile, and here is the code if you guys are interested in that. I'll just leave that back in the zipper because why put it anywhere else? So we'll put her right there for a second. This is the strap. Let's open up the little lock and key which is always fun to get. You know, this is a very nice uh, quality little baggie, but I don't necessarily use them as far as their actual purpose. I just kind of put it on my bags as a decoration. It comes in a little brown box. I don't, I don't remember if all the locks and keys come in this kind of box, but either way, no big deal to me. Here are the keys. Those are cute. Lock is 
making some paper. Cute, super shiny, super, super shiny. We love that. Let's see if the key works. Not that I think it shouldn't. The numbers match because these, the lock and the key have numbers that are supposed to match one another, obviously. Okay. Good, good, good. I suppose. We could put it on one of these zippers together, why not? Let's move that up a little bit, I'll put it here, and put it right on the top. So we'll just put it in, and we'll just close it. Cutie, cute, 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 cute. Okay. So yeah, so let's take a look at the, the handles. It's looking really, really beautiful. I'm not seeing any flaws with the handles. I took my Speedy 30 to the real world with me yesterday to the Louis Vuitton boutique. And everybody was like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. Like you take such good care of it. <laughs> I'm like, you need a fire because it's 2016. Okay, no, no one's so good. <laughs> no, but I conditioned the canvas. I, uh, wiped off the leather a little bit too so i do keep it you know as good as i can for the short while that i've had that one but this one's so nice i like this one here's to hoping something actually fits in here we can do a what fits inside as well i guess today because there's not much really else to say again here's the inside it's beautiful it's really good this is the bottom no feet real nice either way it's about smaller than my hand Again, this is the 20. This isn't the Nano. I feel like the Nano is a little bit ridiculously small uh, for my taste. I'll just put the keys in the little side pocket because I'm not taking this off or anything. I'll just move this to the side and then we'll see what fits inside. Put the strap on last, I guess. There's no reason to do that right now. Okay, this is the back and this is the front. Super, super cool. Let's see. Okay, I guess we'll start with mini pochette as per usual. I don't go anywhere without this thing. And that's it inside. So I'm plenty of room left. Let's see if my phone will go in. I have the S22 Ultra at the moment. And that's a pretty darn big phone and still room. Okay, cool. Let's see if we could put a couple of uh, uh, whatever it is four or three i don't remember key ring and a six key ring let's see if these guys can live in here without any drama so far so good excellent let's get let's get my wallet and my uh zippy coin first going on let's see if those guys can live in there Okay, cool. So far, so good. And you can always just turn these this way if you wanted to. It's just room for some more stuff, actually. Um, I always like to hold this little thing with my charger. Let's see if that can go in here well. I don't want it overstuffed as per usual. I don't like overstuffed. But we'll just try to see if it could fit. It's in there for now. We'll close it up in a bit just to see. And of course, always a mask. Here are some sunglasses. We'll see if they can go in. If anything, maybe just like on top, if not, you know, in. I don't want it to bend them or the bags. So. All right, so these are, as it's in. So let's see if we can close it. Yeah, I mean, it's fine if you want it to be um, really filled. You can, you could see that it's some things here. But, you know, it isn't the end of the world. Quite heavy, as you'd expect. Just as heavy as any other bag would be. But you can see something's here. It's more empty at this part of the, of the bottom than this part. So it has like a little indention. But it fits everything that if I really needed to. 
and could fit everything that I wanted in here. So that's cool. It's a lot. Maybe I can add a little charm to the front and just be that person. Mm -hmm. So cute. I love it like that. Speaking of which, for decorating the bag, this already untied, don't worry about that, is another little item that I did get from the boutique as I was there. I just threw it out there and of course they came and showed me exactly what I was picturing in my mind and I had to pick it up. It is a bandeau or twilly or however it is called. And it is a Louis Vuitton one. And I just went with this color because I just think this color combo is just perfect with these colors. I just thought it was beautiful, beautiful. She showed me this really cute baby pink and baby blue mix one, which I really wanted. It was the smaller version. I think she said this one is either thicker or longer. And she was like, well, this one's uh, $10 more than the other one. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to get that much more for just ten dollars more so i just went with the big one i'm just trying to show you this one side and this here does say um louis vuitton paris made in italy which is nice so this is the one side it has pretty um birds or doves and the lvs and the fleur-de-lis on them it's all the way all the way over that side and then if you flip it over it looks like this it's sort of vivian in a hot air balloon <laughs> and a bunch of luggage in the bottom says so louis vuitton and a bunch of different kinds of purses that louis vuitton sells or is that upside down alma bb uh, an alma i don't think it's a bb it's just an alma i mean i guess it's upside down because at one point you could, it turns this way so so this is really really nice i'm planning to tie it possibly on one of these handles if not i'll probably tie it on my weight or maybe just my bigger um speedy yeah, any one of my bags really i don't know which one just yet but i did buy that one i'll put maybe just swap it out from time to time but yeah um i guess let's try to put the strap on so let me move back again the strap does have two sides one side just thoroughly represents Louis Vuitton, so it will tell you again and again. Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton. So yeah, three times. And the nice pieces of machine leather on both sides at the edges. And then if you flip it over, it's a little less brandy unless you know which brand these flowers are from, which I'm sure most people do. So you could put it on either way. Personally, I want to wear it this way. This is the way that I want it to show more so than it just representing Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton everywhere because you know that by the um monogram so let's just click those on real quick move that out of my way come on give me some space everybody doing <laughs> already cool so this is how it looks when it's all done up together super cute right i love that okay, nice. um i will say i tried this strap on even in the store and it's not the most comfortable thing um i like it as far as how it looks so i can really put pull an outfit together but I don't know that I'm gonna want to wear it if I don't have at least some sleeves because it kind of rubs on my skin the wrong way to where it makes me a little bit uncomfortable. But definitely, like if in the colder months when you're wearing sweaters and your skin's not necessarily touching it, like skin to strap, it'll be fine. Yeah, so I'll just take some of this stuff out for now. I do think it's a really nice size for what it is. It is obviously a speedy it's just a smaller version i do typically like bigger bags but um there's just something about this one that is just really 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 cute 
I just went into the Louis Vuitton store with no, you know, I wasn't planning to get anything. And I just walked in and he was just sitting in the middle of, you know, one of the walls. And I'm just like, oh my God, he's so small. And I went in and I was actually like, is that a nano or is that a 20? And they were like, oh, that's actually a 20. And I was like, wow, because to think that there's a bag much smaller than this, and like this is like having a hard time even in of itself without, you know, really organizing. I mean, if you see the size of my phone versus the size of this bag, it's, <laughs> it, it makes it, but just imagine if it was a nano size, my phone wouldn't fit in there, so. <laughs> Um, but yeah, overall, this is really cute. I did just get it yesterday, so I don't have too much more else to really tell you guys as far as wear and tear or as if it really is a practical bag for everyday use. I will use it for a while and then get back to you guys and let you guys know what I think and it'll be part of my ranking system when I redo my Louis Vuitton ranking my bags video again for you guys. Um... Yeah, other than that, let me get, uh, let, bleh, hello, words. Let me know what you guys think about this bag. Do you like this strap or do you prefer the pink strap? Why or why not? And let me know what you think about Vivian and her little bear friend. I don't know if he has a name. I don't know him like that. Uh, sitting on the side of this bag. You can tell how small the bag is by how big this looks on it. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It is cute, but it's a little funny. But yeah, guys, that's really pretty much all that I have for you today. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what else you guys want to see. Um, I may or may not stop and pick up a couple more pieces, depending on my mood. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think that's all I got. If anything, I'll check in again with you guys, all right? So, see you guys later. Bye.